When did you first hear about Dr. Deming and his teachings? We were first introduced to Dr. Deming and his philosophy in Leander ISD, which is actually a continuous improvement school district, and through the work of one of our assistant superintendents, Monta Aiken, and she's attended some of the Deming conferences and has learned about his philosophy and has brought it to our school district, and we've adopted it and are now putting it in the hands of students. And as a district, we um, are trained every summer. The uh, administrators are trained every summer through David Langford. He comes out for a four-day session with us in Leander each summer and, and trains people. And then Monta and her group take his trainings and train trainers. Uh, Sarah's one of those trainers for the continuous improvement that we do throughout the, sc the school year. And why did you want to come to the research seminar? I think we wanted to share the work that we've been doing with kids and, and how they've been uh, able to learn the tools that help them adopt the philosophy themselves and really show how um, putting things in the hands of students and giving them ownership can change the culture of a school and, and even a school district. And I follow the podcasts, so I had seen advertising along the lines of, of this particular seminar looking for the ways that people are applying Deming in a kind of a newer or different way, and I felt like much like Sarah said, that the work that we've done with students has is, is really created such an impact that we wanted to pass that information along. Okay, let's see. So what did you enjoy most about the last couple days? I really liked the diversity of presenters. Um, it wasn't just education. It was nice to see that vertical view when you're talking about educators and what we do with students every day to see how does that translate into the business community. Um, and so, so hearing how Deming applies across the board uh, as a principal and a manager per se, it was really interesting to see the commonalities uh, of what we all see and do and the why behind it. It just was re very reaffirming for me to hear uh, about how the Deming system works in so many different ways and just, it just reinvigorated why I do it and give me energy to keep it going when I get back. I enjoyed the, the lean coffee. Um, that was probably my favorite part of the, the seminar, um, the small group setting and being able to have choice and ownership over the different discussion topics and, and being able to collaborate uh, on a team and, and reflect on what we've learned. That was my favorite part of the session. So did you have any epiphanies or aha moments during the seminar? So many. You want to start? Yeah, I think uh, for me, seeing the common themes, um, as Christine said, um, throughout business that we can apply in education. Um, also uh, talking about hierarchies quite a bit and how we can break down the hierarchies and create a more flat organization was a huge aha for me. Mm -hmm. And just reevaluating my own systems when I get back. Um, I feel like we have a great shared leadership environment on my campus, um, but I don't want to be the only one that sees it that way. So getting some more perceptual data when I get back about where everybody is, uh, understanding that that is very important culture on our campus to keep that continuous improvement going for everyone, students, teachers, um, administrators, so. And what would you say to someone thinking about coming to the research seminar next year? Absolutely. I, no matter what your area of expertise is, I think it was very beneficial. Um, it's, it's, it's eye opening, even if you know Deming's work to be here and to collaborate and, and have those conversations face to face with other people who are living it every day. It just, like I said, it just invigorates what you're doing mm -hmm. in your own bubble. I would also say to, to come with intention and be intentional about being involved in the process. You get out of it what you put into it, I think. So if you come in mind with questions and, and ideas and, and topics to discuss with others, you're going to get a lot out of the conference. Yeah, along with an open mindset, I think having an open mind when you come in, not being, um, well, some of the conversation was a little bit self-defeating to start, so um, it's so big, it's so much, it's so different. And like we talked about in our session, you know, start small, start somewhere, but start. Anything else you'd like to share? Just our appreciation. It was well done. It was well put together. It flowed well. Um, it, was, it was a great experience all the way around. I, I would agree. The graciousness of the, everyone involved in the Deming Institute has just been very overwhelming, and we really appreciated the opportunity to be here. Mm -hmm. Did you learn anything new that you could take back and apply to the things that you've been applying? 
Let's see. we definitely I have three, four, five pages of notes. So <laughs> to yeah. think of one particular thing. I, I would say one thing I learned was about how to remain objective and stay out of um, processes when they get sticky and difficult and um, how to use tools to be um, removed from the drama and the conflict. Um, that was a great aha moment for me. Defining systems too and in, in that they uh they reiterated time and time again that you know your system your systems are people so and, and we're in the business of people and how important it is to to keep that at the forefront when you're talking about changing a system or improving a system or uh, reflecting on your system that those are human beings you're talking about as well and all the nuances that go with that so